What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and this is the Get Me Out of Here vlog. I am standing in front of Bright Box Country Dining Restaurant, the oldest restaurant and bar in the great state of Iowa, serving delicious food since 1852. The original building stood for well over a hundred years and it unfortunately burned down in 2007 due to a gas explosion. The weird story is they rebuilt it that year and then it burned down again 10 months later so they had to rebuild it again. So this building here has been standing since 2009, but the Bright Box restaurant in name has been within the family ever since the beginning in 1852. Another weird fact is President Millard Fillmore actually granted the original permit to start this establishment, which is really random. Millard Fillmore is always the least remembered US president. So that's kind of a funny fact, but yeah. This is it, Iowa's oldest restaurant and bar. Let's grab a drink, let's see what's on the menu. I will show you what it's like inside. They've got an informational board here on the history of Brightbox Country Dining. Jacob Brightbox first opened the doors of Brightbox Country Dining in 1852, just six years after Iowa became a state. Handed down through six generations, Brightbox is the oldest food and drinking establishment in the Hawkeye State. They got it right here next to this breathtaking view of the Mississippi River. And right over there, way over there, is Bright Box. If you want a closer look of the Mississippi River, just have to put a quarter in and look straight ahead. Upon walking in, love the decor, definitely feels like a country dining. And look at this beautiful painting of the Mississippi River Valley, just like the outlook I saw outside. The, the view is incredible. So in the hallway here, they've got all these newspaper clippings about the history of this area and the fires. There were two fires that occurred here at Bright Box. Oh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. There were two fires that occurred here at Bright Box. You can see them in the local newspapers, one in 2007 and then another one that happened 10 months after they built the second restaurant. So this is the third restaurant here that was opened up in 2009, but it's still the same family, same business, same food. Here's the newspaper headline of the first fire that happened in 2007, Christmas 2007. Gas explosion. And this was the first restaurant, the historic one that's been open since 1852. Ten months later, they built a second restaurant, and that too was destroyed by a fire. Totally unbelievable. October 25th, 2008. They've since rebuilt this third one, and it's doing okay. Twelve years later. Again, I love all of this old-school decor that's all over the restaurant. It's very homey inside. It's like standing in a kitchen from a hundred years ago. And here are the famous buffet tables. Draws a lot of people, especially on the weekends. Started with the salad bar and got myself a Big Grove beer, which is a brewery in Iowa City. And I really like the homey atmosphere here at this restaurant. They've got a lot of beautiful paintings, um, wooden chairs, wooden tables. You can see that shelf over there with porcelain plates and pottery. I feel like I'm in the Shire <laughs> from Lord of the Rings. Well, cheers everyone from the oldest bar and restaurant in the state of Iowa, the Hawkeye State. It's a good golden ale, again from Big Grove Brewery, which is located in Iowa City, Iowa. It's where the Hawkeyes are, gotta represent. I guess they have a very popular dinner buffet, that's what most people are here for tonight, but I optioned for the pork tenderloin. I'm in Iowa after all, this state is known for pork tenderloins, but they have an award-winning pork tenderloin here at Bright Box. So that is what I will be trying today. So let's try this salad. This looks absolutely delicious. Of course, I had to put some ranch dressing on it, right? Because it's uh, Iowa. The Midwest always has a reputation that we all love ranch, which isn't true, but a lot of people like it. They enjoy it. Very good, hits the spot. All right, this thing just showed up. It took like just over five minutes to get. This is a famous pork tenderloin. It is super loud in here, by the way, so I don't know how long this is gonna translate, but this is the famous pork tenderloin.
tenderloin. Look at the size of this pork tenderloin. Look how big this is the bun. It is bigger than the bun, but this is how we do it here in Iowa. This is a solid trademark of the Hawkeye State, known for pork tenderloins. Usually the pork tenderloin is always bigger than the bun that it is on. So I can't wait to dive into this award-winning pork tenderloin sandwich. I feel like I'm gonna be saying pork a lot in this vlog. It's gonna happen. Seriously though, take a look at this. And I got fries on the side, but this pork tenderloin is a behemoth. This looks absolutely delicious. Time to bite in. All right, let's bite into this bad boy. You know, the thing is, I don't even know where to start, but uh, it's just deep dive. Let's do this. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. I shouldn't be taking big bites like that when it's fresh out of the, out of the oven. Oh my God, that is incredible. Oh yeah, look how thick that pork is. Look at that. Look how thick that pork is. And it's got a perfect crunch on the outside with this deep fat fried outer shell. Mm. That is fantastic. One of the best pork tenderloins I've ever had here at Brightbox. Mm. And you know what, for the size of this thing, for as big as this pork tenderloin sandwich is, it doesn't leave me feeling uh, overly full. It doesn't leave me with a sick feeling inside. It's like, I feel like I can actually eat this entire thing and still be hungry, believe it or not. I won't feel stuffed, which is a good thing. Just showing you all another delicious view of this massive pork tenderloin. My only criticism here is they don't have a lot of local beers. I was hoping there'd be some Toppling Goliath, which is an exceptional brewery in Decorah, Iowa. That's really not that far away from here in Balltown, but they don't have any Toppling Goliath. So what's up with that? You guys need to get some Toppling Goliath. It's exceptional. But this totally makes up for that. I feel like I ran out of buns, so I gotta start eating the the pork on this side. I'm like using the bun to grip. <laughs> mm. Very good though. Very, I mean, that makes it easier. I'm gonna try a little mustard on the pork tenderloin now. I always like to try things without any condiments first and then dive into that later. All right. I think it's just normal mustard. I don't think there's anything special with it. Okay so far. I'm doing great, man. Um, mm. Normally I show my last bite. I completely forgot, but just took it. Plate is clean. Pork tenderloin is no more, but oh, that was good. Amazing pork tenderloin. Can't say enough. Pork, 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 pork. The other thing they're known for here is homemade pies by the slice only. So heck yeah, dove into that. I am getting myself a slice of cherry pie. Look at this cherry pie. If it wants to focus, and it does. You know you want to focus, I don't want to drop the pie. Look at that. Here at Bright Box Restaurant. I have not had pie in a long time. You know what, I would take pie over cake right now in my life. Pie over cake, it's very hard to find a good pie these days. But here at Brightbox, they have all kinds of pies. This is, this is just one of a variety of different pies that they sell here, and they sell it only by the slice. So you can't get an entire pie to go unless, uh, but I'm new here, maybe there is a way to get an entire pie. I don't know, but right now I'm gonna dive into this cherry pie. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for this. There's another view of this delicious cherry pie before it goes in my mouth and down my throat into my stomach. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for this. I've been craving cherry pie all year. I don't know why, I just have. All right, without further ado, I am... Put this plate down. 
Oh my gosh. Cherry pie. And that's everybody, right? I'll be back to take your answer in just a moment. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic cherry pie. If I do say so myself. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that cherry pie. Doesn't want to focus, that's all right. It's going down my mouth anyway. Going down my throat. Mm. Oh my God. I mean, the, the pork tenderloin is fantastic. I'm telling you, if you want a great dessert, the pie here alone is exceptional. It's fantastic. Come here for the pie. Come here for the pie, stay for the tenderloin. That was a big bite. Oh my god. Mm. That's so gooey. Come here. Come here, cherry pie. Mm. Here's all that remains of my meal. And I got an, a slice of apple pie to go as well. Notice how the water mug is still upside down. I have not touched that. <laughs> but I got an apple pie, a slice of apple pie to go. So I'm here at Brightbox with the manager himself, the owner, and you are sixth generation, or how far back does your family go? Seven generations. Seven generations here at Brightbox in Balltown, Iowa. What do you recommend on the menu? I know you're known for pie. And soup. And soup. And you've got a dinner buffet tonight. We have a dinner buffet tonight, barbecued ribs. But you guys, exceptional. The, the tenderloin, to me, is one of the greatest I've ever had. So come here for the pork tenderloin, the pies. And Mike, uh, this is such a fantastic restaurant, and enjoy your service. You guys, thank, thank keep, you very much. Keep we it appreciate up. it. If you're in Northeast Iowa, come to Brightbox. And here is the bar, the oldest bar in the state of Iowa. There it is. And look at the size of this buck. Just looming over the oldest bar in the state of Iowa. This thing is massive. I don't know the story behind this. After that, maybe Mike hunted this down himself. Who knows? Very impressive. And if you were questioning me earlier, there it is. 2012 Breaded Tenderloin Sandwich Contest. First place, Bright Box Country Dining. The Iowa Pork Producers Association. You know it's legit. They also sell cookbooks, maple syrup, and glassware. You want to buy some glasses from the oldest restaurant and bar in the state of Iowa. They even sell cookie jars. Now that's some nostalgia. I might buy one. Get a cookie jar. What are these? Are these old spittoons lining the entryway? I think these are old tobacco spittoons. A lot of history here. I love this painting by Norman Rockwell. Thanksgiving dinner. Americana. Gotta love all these old school game boards. This is a Parcheesi table. It's a really fun game. I love playing Parcheesi. Chinese checkers. We have a lot of Parcheesi tables. I feel like breaking out a game. Let's do this here at Brightbox. Play a little Parcheesi. This is awesome. I haven't seen these since I was a little kid. These lion's mints. This is such a small town Iowa trademark. Brings back a lot of memories. I actually completely forgot about these things. Lion mints. What a phenomenal restaurant hiding here in Northeast Iowa in Balltown. Bright box. Definitely will be back. I absolutely love this place. It's adorable, it's homey. The food is fantastic. Look at this beer garden they have here too. This is super cool. Look at this. They got like an outdoor beer garden. It's not being used right now, but for summertime, I don't know why it's not being used, but it's, oh, look at this. They got a beer garden. What an awesome restaurant. If you're ever in Northeast Iowa, you need to stop by at Bright Box and get yourself the best pork tenderloin in the world. And actually, I gotta go back in. I left my slice of apple pie in there to go. I got another slice of apple pie to go, left it inside. Gonna have to grab that, but hands down, this is one of the greatest restaurants I've been to in the state of Iowa. Whew. 
I'm feeling great. They also have a winery and antique store right next door to the actual restaurant. Are you guys still open? Sure. Let's take a peek. Oh, this is phenomenal. So right here we have an antique jersey from Balltown, the town that we're sitting in right now from the use of the 40s? 40s, early 50s. From the 1940s, era. early 50s era, which perfectly fits the theme because I just saw the Field of Dreams today. So it works out. Yes. And you've got a winery here. Well, no, we sell it. You we sell wine. We buy from the local wineries. And we gotcha. It's part of the Breitbach business. Do you get any wine from Northwest Iowa? No. So no oh. little Swan Lake. Okay, I <laughs> just said it. I'm from Okaboji originally. So you do do samples. What style of wine do you like? Uh, what do you recommend in this part of the state? Adi, it's the St. Croix grape. Okay. All right. So I've got the Great River Red Wine. This is wine number one. You wouldn't know that I could be editing this, but this is wine number one. That's very good. It's, uh, that's, I agree. It's, it's a little bit sweet, but not too much. It's got a tart taste to it. Try this. Let me see what the bottle looks like on here, too. So this is Great River Red. Right here. The winery is 12 miles north, called the Promised Land Winery. Promised Land Winery. All right, sample number two. And this one is more Promised Land. Yes, it's called Reminisce. This is called it's Reminisce. Red, soft, dry. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a dry. Right. I like the Great River Red a little better. I told you I don't like sweet, but now I do like sweet a little better. <laughs> all right. Surprise yourself. I surprised myself. What else do you have on set? What what is the? So these were all promised this land. This is close to the first one. Okay, we'll do a crazy girl. This is for backyard grilling. Background grilling. Okay. If you do a lot of backyard grilling. I love some background uh, backyard grilling. I can't even speak. It's not the wine, I swear. So sample number three. It's called Ooh. Crazy girl. Oh, that is crazy. Not a fan of that one. <laughs> I like um, the first one the best, the Great yes. River Red. Yes. Okay, they're only thirteen fifty a bottle. That's the good news. Let's do. I'll take a Great River Red back with me right now. Awesome. Let's do it. I can't let him give me all these free samples and not buy a bottle. That would be rude. Would, that would be unprofessional. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> so, are, are you looking to get into broadcasting or? Look at all these bottles of wine. You can get free samples here. It's right across the street from the actual restaurant, like I said earlier. And they also have an antique store in here. All kinds of quirky antiques for sale. Weird salt and pepper shakers. Old lamps. A picture of Clint Eastwood. Even a change collector for uh, the front door of your house. Why not? The thing of nightmares. Look, they even have a Cubs bear. Perfect for the theme of this trip. And check this out. They've got the Breitbach ball field right behind the restaurant. Good show, my friend, good show. They even have an old school Coca-Cola scoreboard sign. You don't see that very often. Look, did you really? Look at this. Well, I couldn't run the bases at the Field of Dreams earlier today, so you know what? I got my chance now at Ball Town. Good deal. Okay, I'm running the bases because I couldn't run them at the Field of Dreams. Well, there you go. I was going to run the bases earlier today in Dyersville to finish the video up that way. Gosh, I'm out of breath. It's horrible. But instead, I saved it for the Breitbach restaurant in Balltown. This is how we're going to end the video today. 
ran the bases in ball town next to the oldest Bright restaurant and bar in the state of iowa Brightbach field all right everyone this is eric i'm horribly out of breath i need to run more but it's time for me to get out of here thanks for watching Pork tenderloin. Can't say enough. Pork, 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 pork.